Nice jam. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. So uh yeah, um um shit. Talmor. I'm gonna like you know, he, he hit me, I'm like my head turns, and I'm gonna, like I kinda when I turn around, it's gonna look like just pure anger. Like my rage face, I'm gonna have like my teeth grit and just just kind of growl and as I'm like turning, I'm just gonna come up with my axe, kinda like golf swing my axe straight up and I'm going like straight up for his, his abdomen. So uh, I'm going to attack recklessly. Yeah. Obviously. And, uh, oh, and hit. a 19 is going to hit with a, a 24 to hit. That's going to hit. And then, uh, 11 damage <sighs> to Goshen as I bring the axe up into his side. All right. Oh, yeah. It's it's um. Well, um. And okay. So this is how we're gonna do this. Unless anyone intervenes, you um. I'm Ordok. I'm intervening, Jerry. Okay, Ordok, Jerry, but you guys can intervene at any point in time. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two of them. So Ordok, you're intervening. Yep. Mm. Uh, because I still have my hammer out, and I s- just see Talmor like. I see Goshen hit Talmor, but I know that Talmor can't control his anger. So my goal is to stop Talmor. Um, so I'm just going to swing around and um, try to like butt him in the face with uh, like like not a full on swing, but just like a jab with the front of my uh-huh. hammer and try to hit him. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so it's a 25 to hit. Yeah, it's going to hit. Although doing more damage isn't really going to do anything. It's fine. <laughs> 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 So that is uh, five damage to Talmor. Yeah. And I'm just going to be like, stop, stop. Roll me a con check, Talmor. Ten. The, the rage continues. <laughs> Goshen, it is your turn. When can I intervene? Um, Once Goshen goes, you can. Okay. So kind of like reeling from the hit my side, I look up same sort of look of rage and pain. I'm going for three strikes against Dalmore. Unarmed. <laughs> so, 20 to hit. Oh, which nice. Is, which is five damage. So, uh, My third key point for Flurry of Blows, which makes that a 23 to hit for my next strike. Uh-huh. And that is six damage partially resisted. Talmor has to make a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone before I make my third hit. Well, actually, I'd have advantage on that because I have danger sense. I think you make it without any more, so you're good. Well, yeah, so 14 okay. for dexterity. And then my final attack, sort of like a spinning jump kick into his chest. 22 <sighs> to hit. And yeah. strength saving throw or be knocked back 10 feet. That's seven damage or three damage after resistance. You make that too. Uh, with a sixteen to first strength. Yep, you're good. So you finally hit with all three attacks, and it's one of your allies. <laughs> 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 so reckless t- attack is gone. Bo, you were gonna do something? Yeah, I'm gonna cast cool the youngling and turn to a goat, and uh, I'm gonna speak to Talmor and say, Talmor. Control your rage. And I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna trot up to him, and with my tentacle, I'm gonna just kind of like wrap it around his hand. My kind of horn tentacle. Okay. Uh, uh, not, a not more, uh, with... It's like more like a caressing wrap. It's not like I, I'm not. Oh, oh, I'm not then... trying to fool myself that I can stop him. So, uh, yeah, roll me a con check with disadvantage. Disadvantage, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, he loves the goat. 
Yeah. Uh, that's a nine. That's a nine. All right. We, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, um, Talmor. Oh, Jerry. You yeah. Can I, can I, yeah, I think I am. That. Yeah. Go I'm for close. it. Um, I'm going to kind of sit or take care of Talmor and I'm going to cast, uh, Earth and grasp on the ocean. What's the save I can make on that? <laughs> it's a strength save. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Three. Oh yeah. <laughs> can I? Yeah. Can I target you? I can target you. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Max damage twelve. <laughs> You're restrained. So you are encased in stone. Ow. Probably up to the neck, about. Fair. And maybe potentially bad, depending on Talmor's next action. Yeah, I was going to say, if he's still even, like, partially visible, I'm going to swing Yeah, when, when do I get to go again? <laughs> and I'm restrained, so this is going to be real bad. <laughs> yeah, right right after me. How come Talmor's not scared of the goat? He is, that's why he had disadvantage on... on on the con still going to attack. last time he didn't really get scared he more got angry and upset and wanted to destroy you <laughs> right, it's Trump's yeah that, the last time i seen the goat i flipped out into a race oh, when he shit. gets fight or flight he usually picks fight so uh i say talmor probably has one more go before uh ordok can step in sorry Goshen. okay so i'm gonna attack recklessly again uh-huh and you say that his head is all that's this. Right, six yeah. Do it, dude. Don't hold back. Uh, I'm going guillotine style, I guess. Uh huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. We just killed Goshen. I think I might have just killed Goshen because the only way for me to hit is to cut his head off, right? <laughs> Unless you cut through my hand and then hit him, <laughs> roll the damage. Yeah. yeah, I mean, isn't it like, isn't it an earth and grasp? Isn't it like a yeah. grip? So like, it might not just be his head. It's a hand that kind of like just grabs you. Wait, 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 well, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Is that because that just killed him? That was twenty points of damage, <laughs> and that killed Ghost. No, no, and no. Like okay, by twelve. So no, no, how no. we have death in the game? Is half negative half of your maximum. He should be fine. So he is three points away from permadeath. He's fine. Yep, I'm good. So if it if it was just a hand grabbing him, where did it grab him, Jerry? Probably like around the waist. Okay. Well, then I was I'm gonna go for that open wound again, and I'm gonna bury it into his stomach. Can I intervene again? No, uh, hold on. Holy shit. So Goshen is limp. Ordok, I believe you wanted to do something. Yeah. Um, and then we'll come to bow. Was that a reckless attack? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, if you attack me, whoever attacks me next has advantage. Can I attack and try to sweep out his legs? Can I just, like... Yeah. Run? All right, so I'm going to try to, like... Um, go low down at like his shins and I'm just going to try to knock him down. I don't like where this <laughs> No! Where it went. I don't... I regret everything. It's okay. I saw you. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh god! So, Natural 20! 20. 20. <laughs> yeah, you took his legs right out from under him. And you ripped off my shin, and now I'm going to have a stump leg. Uh, Your legs having adventures. So. I, have, I still have crystals. We can shove it in there. They can have buddies. So damage on that with resistance is seven. Oh, shit. And I'm just going to, if he's knocked over, I'm just going to, like, jump on top of him. Like, same thing as before. Just, like, holding him down with my hammer. Okay, uh, Bo, you wanted to do something? What state are you in now, Talmor? Uh, completely raged. What does rage... Raged do you out. you get any advantage or disadvantage on rolls? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I do. I get um, advantage on strength <laughs> and damage, and I resist all. All I get the bonus to adding damage, and I resist all damage except psychic damage. And um, I'm just okay. I'm gonna cast hallucinogen on Talmor. Um, which gives you disadvantage on your next attack roll. Okay. Which is about all I can really think of doing. <laughs> uh, so, as you cast this on Talmor, uh, <sighs> Talmor is going to go unconscious for a split second. Because you're basically into everything except psychic damage. Yeah. The movie in your head is going to pick back up. You see the purple hand right above your head. Are you sure about this? You're going to hear a deep voice from the corner of some hut. Yes. Wipe his mind in blackness. Goshen, give me a death saving throw, please. Yeah. Faith. Oh, that was. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. Anyone want to intervene before Talmor's next check? Oh yeah. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm telling uh Hordog uh, knock knock him out. And then I'm gonna go I can use the hand to like drag Goshen away a little bit. Because I can move it and I can restrain people with it. So I, yeah. I, I think I can pull. <laughs> I haven't actually looked it up. I'm pretty sure I can pull people with it. Uh, um, yeah, I, I say well why the I'm hell not? Pull Goshen I would say you need and, to like, move the finger up. Use the hand to like <laughs> because he's, he's gutted right now, so just move the hand up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the is, uh, is, like... is the axe still buried in Goshen? Like, does Talmor have his axe? Did it? Did it stay, or did it? Did it just cut through? Mm-hmm. Here, I'm gonna roll a quick check. Okay. And it stayed inside Goshen. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Help the bleeding. Yeah. Instead of bleeding a Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna pull Goshen away using the hand as like a table of like get him up and I'm gonna start uh trying to stabilize him with my medicine check. But I told okay. Hordog to beat the shit out of Talmor. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a medicine check. Natural. Oh, shit. What is this about? Yeah, he. Like, you... All of a sudden, we're fighting each other. And we're running. <laughs> What's the day of critical rolls? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, fucking I'm stitching him up. Yeah, you you pull this axe out. You manage to have. <laughs> I use a quill and I use his own fur to stitch him up. <laughs> yeah, you you manage. Uh, I'm going <laughs> full Civil War doctor on him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stop the bleeding. You kind of you. you you kind of stitch him up as best you can. It's not great, but it's stopping the bleeding, which is is a major thing. I mean, this axe got decently deep. Out of the corner of your eye, Jerry, you're going to see Goshen's staff start to quiver. Just barely. Ordok, you knocking town more out? Uh, if I can. I mean, I'm just going to leave the hammer and take the little ball peen and just... <laughs> <laughs> technically, r- technically, right now, Talmor is on his back. He's prone. Uh, let, let me assign that to him real quick. So, like, I'm... Does the... So, when Amber had this hammer, it, like, would plant itself. Can I use that on its side? Does it like hold its position down if I lay it across him? Yes. Okay. So actually, I. How long is he out? 
Oh, well, um, first, right now, is this is kind of restraining him. Oh, I did not mean to. You know, why the fuck not? Yeah, that's basically, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm probably also. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, no, go ahead and roll an attack against Talmor. For your ball peen. Uh, 12 to hit. <sighs> Talmor is a big bitch. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it again for me real quick. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 18 to hit. Yep. So that is enough. You're going to smack him on the head and Talmor's going to stop moving. Is he still breathing? So he is still breathing. Okay. <laughs> There's quite a few things going on. Uh, Jerry is tending to Goshen. Uh, Ordok is knocking Talmor out. And Bo is... Bo. Climbing onto Talmor's chest and in, in my goat form and uh, <laughs> staring him in the eyes. Terrifying. But yes. He's out now, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna stay, sit and stare until he wakes up. <laughs> Better hope I don't have any rages when I wake up. <laughs> oh god! So you guys are now out of combat. So I'm gonna jump up <laughs> and say, "Bo, you're not helping." Wait, and I'm gonna run so to does, Goshen. Does Talmor rage every time he sees my goat? Uh, he did the first so time. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Because I thought he walked off and got scared, so I was trying to like freak him out. Well, I I, I raged, if you remember. I raged, and then they, you guys had to pin uh, me down and get me through it because of the tentacles. And I just had the visions of the mind flare, so it freaked me out, and I can't control my rage, so I kicked uh, me in the okay. rage. And then this time, it was... Goshen punching me, and since I can't control it, it kicked me into rage, and I had disadvantage when trying to come out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna get off then, and I'm gonna turn myself back into bow in a puff of like, poof, and the yeah, the goat head's gonna steam up again and dissipate into the air, and uh, I'm gonna cast create bonfire out of the leaves on the ground to make a little black bonfire. <laughs> 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 um, if Ordok runs up to try to heal Goshen, uh, Jerry barks at him, and tells him to just stay back and let me do my job. <laughs> uh, so, sort of in mid sprint over to Goshen, I'll just be like, I'll like be a little bit alarmed at the forcefulness of Jerry yelling at me, and be like, "All right," <laughs> around to just go back and like stand over. Um, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna stand over Talmor. I'm gonna leave the hammer, the war hammer, pinning him, and I'm just gonna be like at the ready position with my ball peen. Does the giant spider have any fangs or eyes? I assume it has eight quite yeah. big eyes. Both, yes. I I was I was waiting to see how long. It yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go like whilst that's happening. I'm just gonna go harvest the big spider. I I want its eyes at least and some fangs. Um, once I get Goshen all stitched up, mm -hmm. I'll put the, uh, actually, I just had a better idea. I'm going to take a stick. Is it like small again? Oh, his staff? Yes. Yeah. How, how big is it when it's in its like compact form? <laughs> uh, about six inches or so. Okay. Hey man, good for you. That's not long enough. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I don't know. Does he have a pocket or a backpack or what does he do? He's nothing, doesn't he? <laughs> no, <laughs> backpack in straight now. I've moved up in the world. Thanks oh, he has a backpack. Oh, cool. Dog. I'll put it in his backpack. Um, is so we got Talmor pinned down. I want to take Goshen and tie him to a tree real close to Talmor. Okay. Okay. 
Gershon has one hit point currently. And then we can just wait for them to wake up. And when they're awake, they can make up. <laughs> That's what I tell our garden. So this is going to take probably about uh, take one hour for them to gain consciousness. I'm just at the ready for an hour while Goshen is just like, <laughs> like cutting the spider. <laughs> Yeah, no. This is not a short run. This is more of a make sure my allies don't kill each other kind of thing. Because no one's really resting unless Jared reads a book. <laughs> Once I have Goshen tied down, I'm not worried about it anymore. Cool. I'm waiting for them to wake up. I don't think they're going to wake up and just start punching each other again. Hopefully. So, what is every. So, Ordok's kind of standing over town more for the next hour. Bo is harvesting items from the spider go ahead but roll me a survival check and you have time for this roll me an advantage yeah. okay uh because the map's in the way um oh 12 so you managed to scrape out probably about four fangs and four Eight. eyes Eight. Can I roll a sanity check while those sounds are happening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this will be constitution. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Intelligence. Intelligence. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's okay. Oh, you're good. You're sane. You're sane. Um, what is Jerry doing during this next hour? I think the scene that I'm picturing in my head is that we have Talmor pinned down by the hammer and maybe like a foot away from him it's Goshen unconscious tied to a tree and I'm just going to be sitting on a stump waiting for them to wake up so I can tell them to make up and get over their shit so I'm just reading the book while I wait and probably like chewing on some jerky which book are you reading? It's the same one I was trying to read when Talmor was bouncing around uh, awesome. go ahead and roll me uh, intelligence check Oh, shit dude there is so much going on you're you're reading this but you're not really I'm taking in any of the words that is two ones in a row holy shit yeah. about 45 minutes to an hour both talmor and goshen are gonna start to stir and slowly wake up This week's episode is brought to you in part by Easy Roller Dice. They are a great customer-focused tabletop gaming company specializing in products from gamers, educators, and all other professions. They have a full collection of beautifully crafted dice as well as a whole inventory of great gaming materials to suit your every gaming need. Go on over to their website and check out their full list of amazing products and while you're there, add something to your cart because our listeners are receiving a special 15% off discount code when you enter DDP15 at checkout. That's DDP as in Doer Dice Podcast 15 at checkout to receive 15% off your entire order. So as always, thanks a bunch to Easy Roller Dice and thanks to you guys for listening and enjoy the rest of the episode. <sighs> Rolling dice by hand is so difficult and it makes my arms so tired. If only there was an easier way to roll dice. There is an easier way to roll dice with a dice tower. A dice tower? What's that? It sounds like something that's cheaply made and not very pretty to look at. <laughs> you couldn't be any more wrong, small childlike voice. Wormwood Gaming sells high quality wooden dice towers, dice trays, and much, much more. You can find them at wormwoodgaming.com. And if you use promo code Do or Dice upon checkout, you can get free domestic shipping wherever you are in the U.S. That's what domestic means. Golly gee, this is so much better than rolling by hand. And it looks amazing too. And it tastes good. Mmm. Uh, you probably shouldn't eat the... Mm, never mind. Remember, that's Do or Dice upon checkout. D-O-O-R-D-I-C-E.
since I noticed them both awake, I'm just like, make up. Uh, what? Uh, I have a headache. <laughs> what happened? I take a minute to <laughs> recollect what the hell just happened. <laughs> Can I see if I'm from where I am? I assume I can, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Tell me. Oh, hey, what, what are you doing on the tree, bud? I don't to remember what happened. Uh, I, I killed that spider, and then you guys, I, you guys killed that dryad? Yes. I asked you not to, and then, I don't know, it gets, uh, it gets fuzzy. I got a headache. Uh, what happened? I owe Why you, are you at a tree? I owe you an apology. Why? What did you do? What did I do? I struck you. Oh. Oh, oh God. What? Are you okay? Yes, no, no. Did I hurt you? I'm, I'm fine. What I'm is... fine. Oh, God. There's a large gash what? in his like. Yeah, you're, you're really not fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start freaking out because, as, you know, because then I realize that, like, I'm pinned down and I, I kind of get now that, like, I go into rage and... Guys, guys, what, I was just what happened? Down what did I do? Easy, calm. Okay, okay. Uh, calm. Oh, did I do that to Goshen? Calm, oh, dude. Are you okay? It was. It was. It was not your fault. I started it. I did this. What? That looks like an axe wound. Yes. So it's expressly my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you were defending yourself. There is no shame in that. Oh God! Yeah, I'm fine, Where's but Bo? I mean, is, is this so something you guys <laughs> regularly do? Him? Oh, I just <laughs> no, <laughs> not not till recently. Not till recently. Just, oh my gosh! Just think in the hour. Are you okay? That they've been asleep. Bo's been like inside of this spider, and he pokes <laughs> his head out. He's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." <laughs> I'm, I, I've I've been too close. It's okay. Why? Why are you tied up? I lost control. You both did. Uh, yeah, I have that issue. If you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> I sometimes lose control. Now, now that I see that um, they're sort of both aware and talking to each other, I'm going to pick up the hammer uh, and just look at both of them and say, "Handle your shit. We have more important things to do." Ordok, as you go to reach for the hammer, you'll. <laughs> Your hand's not quite around it. It's maybe about half an inch away from the from the handle itself. It's going to jump into your hand. Rocket hammer! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Could you could you not be a dick for once? No, please, or not. <laughs> Do you even understand what you happened? You went into Just a rage and put your axe into Goshen's chest. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Could somebody untie me? Yeah, I gotcha. Cut the rope and I mend it back together. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Say it. <laughs> I cut the rope. I grab it and then mend. <laughs> okay, as you were, Talmar, what, what, what were you saying? There was an octopus man again. Uh, uh, what? It, there was no octopus here. No, in my mind, in my brain, there was an octopus man again. And there, I'm gonna I walk up to Talmor, and I'm gonna say, give, give. "Yeah, just a bit of kind of like spider jibs on me." And I'm gonna say, "Give me your hand, Talmor. Put your hand out." <laughs> and I'm gonna. Okay. Put one of the spider's eyes in his palm, which I assume is probably about the size of his palm, isn't it? Because I mean, it's a giant. Yeah. It's about the size of a pool ball. And I'm just gonna like tap his fingers, like yeah. wrap his hand around the spider's eye, and I'm gonna say, "Today's gonna be a good day." Remember, it was optimistic this morning. <laughs> just relax, buddy. All right, don't worry about things. And I'm gonna. And I'm going to turn to Ordok and say, do you want an eye? I've got four. <laughs> what about a fang? No. Okay. 
Uh, I'll walk over to Tamora as well and offer my hand to his not currently spider eye holding hand and like a helping you up sort of gesture. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and like you know grab the back of it and kiss the back of his <laughs> hand and kind of just rub my hand on his face like I forgive you and I'm sorry. I hugged Tamora. <gasps> oh, and I hug him good too. <laughs> This is a good one. It's here, guys. This is what it's all been building up to. The, for, for those at home, this is Talmor's first returned hug. In 25 episodes, people. First returned hug. It is the most tender and most loving hug anybody's ever given. I'm sorry, my friends. I should not have lost my temper that way. I'm just going to start crying. Now, how hard are you holding him, Talmor? Oh, God. Oh no! How hard? How hard are you holding him? Uh, he does have a very. You know how hard I. Roll me a strength a check. <laughs> a Fuck God! Very come sensitive on! Wound Don't ruin that this I moment. Just stitched up. <laughs> to twelve. Roll me a Constitution check, please. Goshen. Oh five. Oh. <sighs> Goshen goes unconscious <laughs> in Talmor's arms. <laughs> oh, I, our love is a little overwhelming, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. He's completely limp. You're, cr- you're cr- I, uh, Talmor, I grab, you're crushing him. I grab Talmor's shoulder and I say, Put I, him I'm down. bawling like at this point. I'm so happy. I, I'm not. I'm not paying attention. It's a good thing I don't need to breathe. Honestly. But... <laughs> You know how you grab a dog, like, by his snout and, like, put his eyes to, like, to make him look at you? Like, uh-huh. when you're, like, <laughs> grab him. And I'm going to do that with Talmor's chin. I'm just going to, like, like grab his face and point it towards me and say, let go. Why you do you have to do this, Orda? Oh, am going to let go? Or, uh, I'm sorry. Goshen is going to drop to the forest floor. <laughs> Oh no, heal him! I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bend down and say a quick word and just lay my hand on his shoulder. Um, and I'm gonna dump my whole pool in. I'm gonna give him 20 points of HP. What's your max? Oh shit, okay. My max is 31, so I'm wounded by 11 now. Yep. Are you wounded? 42. But he's also right now at 36. Oh, yeah. So I have eight hit points left. I'm, I'm after I heal Goshen, I'm going to look up and I say, I know we still have daylight hours, but I would suggest we camp here. Can I sit around my fire and pull out another eye and just start eating it like an apple? Can I pass uh, out again? Uh, no. I mean, no. I mean, you yeah, can. No, no Bo, you yeah. can't. No, I'm gonna you can't. Pick, <laughs> I'm gonna pick Goshen up, like, you know, like how I was carrying Gary, and carry him into the hut, and lay him down, and, and cover him up with some, like, my traveling blanket, and tuck him in nice. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Thank you, Talmo. I'm sorry. No, I'm For killing sorry, you twice. Friend. With rage and love. <laughs> so you guys... <laughs> you guys are taking a long, uh, a long rest? Uh, yeah. Is there a way... Like, I'm worried about these dryads. Um, is there... I think the forest corruption has gotten to them. Mm. Is there a way to set an alarm... Uh, or any type of spell. Well, I have this one spell. It's called Alarm. Um, <laughs> it'll kind of let me know if somebody ever comes close to me. Oh, hey, how super helpful. Let's do that, and then I'll sleep. It's actually only 20 feet. Where is my staff? I might tell them that. It's in your, it's in your backpack. Thank you. <laughs> it's being weird. Like, real weird. Weird how? Like uh Well, like mine, it was quivering. 
<laughs> There's no Jesus here. <laughs> Only Thom. Wrath of Thom. To Is Thom here? Thom. I don't know. Not what you're asking for him to be. <laughs> so it's probably around maybe one, two o'clock in the afternoon, and you guys are, are making a camp. It is still raining a good deal. Um, you look in the sky, clouds, it is dark. There is no sun. But there is quite a bit of canopy over you, so the rain getting through is not as bad as it could be. And you guys, some of you are inside the shelter. Bo is by the fire eating an eyeball. Um, Goshen is resting, I'm assuming. Talmor? I'm, I'm, yeah. cuddled, I'm cuddled up next to Goshen. That is terrifying. Spooning. Uh, Ordok, what are you up to? Um, seeing that the hammer sort of sprung back into my hand, I think I want to try to test that out a little. So, like, I'm just going to go outside and plant the hammer in the ground and just see if I can, like, put my hand sort of close to it and pull it back to my hand. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> when he's trying to get up, 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 up. <laughs> it does not move. Bummer. <laughs> What is Jerry up to? I don't know. We taking a long rest. I, th I think you're taking a long rest. Okay, so I'd start off by setting the alarm, which it's only twenty feet, so I can pretty much just get around the hut that we have. Mm. Um, and then I'm so done with this fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try to read the entry level shit. Um. And then probably, um, yeah, I'm going to try to read that book, which was Conjuration for Dummies. That's what I'm going to read. <laughs> um, and then at some point during me reading, all Ordox playing with his hammer. Um, be like, uh, sorry, I, I snapped at you. I get kind of in the zone a little bit. It's all right. You did well. And that's really all I'm going to say to him. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me an intelligence check. And you, you guys have a bit of time now, so roll it with advantage. You have a bit of time to actually dive into this book finally. It's going to be 23. So this was Conjuration for Dummies, right? Yeah. So basically the premise, that this first chapter is pretty much just going over the hypothetical. It's kind of listing off the planes and what you can summon from them. Uh, fire elementals from the plane of fire, water elementals from the plane of water, so on and so forth. Pulling up uh, undead spirits from you know the, the plane of death, uh, demons from hell, uh, calling up minor fey from the land of fey. Uh, kind of explaining how magic circles work and how it's best to have something that you can pour your will into kind of what you you've already experienced mm -hmm. and, and then you come across a small section summoning and conjuration from any plane has since been deemed impossible since the archmage komar sold the planes over 200 years ago Summoning even the simplest demon has become impossible. I kind of scoff when I read that. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, are you? Hmm. Well, it kind of tells me a lot I already knew, but it reaffirms it. So that tells me that this book is after Komar, which yes. is not what I was hoping for. Go ahead and give me another intelligence check. Just uh, you know, uh, no advantage, no no disadvantage. Thirteen total. As you're kind of checking all the books you have, the ones you got from uh, the one you got from Alwyn's uh, apprentices have a relatively recent, within the past maybe two decades, of being written. Okay. The ones you have from the tower 
are obviously quite older. A few of them are probably 250, 300 years, uh, just given by the dates at the front of the books. In order to find out probably what you want to discover, you need an older library. Yeah. The only library that you know of that Alwyn has kind of referenced a few times is at the Arcanum in Ironclad. All roads point to Ironclad. Um, well, well, I'll keep reading this book, I guess. Even though it's so many things I already know, but maybe I'll, I'll learn a thing or two. You never know. As you're progressing through a few other chapters, it's going into how to summon stronger creatures. Um, more than just drafting a circle. Uh, a few of them invoke pentacles and circles, uh, squares and circles. Pretty much everything based around a circle as the central summoning point. Uh, how to invoke different kind of props to kind of focus your your will and your magic onto a certain particular creature you want to summon. There's a few theories in the book about summoning higher powered demons uh, using maybe the skulls of enemies, miles of blood. Uh, it even briefly references if it was available to summon a dragon uh, using dragon's blood. And of course, the book goes on about various other items or props to kind of draw forth if, again, the planes were opened and not sealed. Of course, they are totally sealed. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. You can keep up to date with everything that we're doing by following us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram at Do or Dice Podcast, or come have a chat in our Discord server. All of our show notes, character sheets, and player bios can be found on our website at doordicepodcast.com. If you're enjoying the episodes, please subscribe to the podcast. And if you have time, leave a review as it helps others like you find our show. Thanks for all the support, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Same dice time, same dice channel.